On this episode of China Uncensored, when are gyrating grannies a bad thing? Hi, welcome to China Uncensored. I'm your host, Chris Chappell. You know about China's gerbil plague, but now there's a new scourge sweeping the nation. Dance. What with the kind of pollution they have there, you might think it would be dirty dancing. But you'd be wrong. In China, you're of course free to march to a different beat as long as you know when to step in line. Which is what millions of China's elderly women are being asked to do. China's population is rapidly aging. According to China's National Committee on Aging, more than one in seven people in China is over the age of 60. By 2050, a full third of China will be senior citizens. And watch out, they like to dance. According to a 2014 report by state-run CCTV, more than 100 million people, mostly women in their 50s and 60s, enjoy square dancing. No, not yee-haw square dancing, public square dancing. And man, these old folks like to tear it up, sometimes hundreds of them, blasting their music well above the 45 decibel limit in a public park, often beginning at 6 a.m. or carrying on late into the night. That is after 7 p.m. After all, China's elderly are in better shape than you. These rebellious elderly have no sense of responsibility, dancing, blasting their canto pop tunes, disco, cultural revolution Maoist anthems. What are the hardworking, less physically active young people of China to do? You see, half of China's 1.3 billion citizens live in cities. And things can get a little bit cramped. Hard-working young people want their peace and quiet. But the elderly, well, they want to dance. So how are youngsters handling this dilemma with due respect for their elders? Apparently, by throwing things at them. You know, water, sand, coins, and once even feces. Also death threats. But once again, the Communist Party has stepped up to the plate to preserve social harmony. The General Administration of Sports of China has introduced 12 state-sanctioned dance routines that you're supposed to obey. And thank goodness. I mean, why go through the hassle of creating your own dance moves when the government can do it for you? So all you drones in Sector 7G, behold your new dance routine. Go wild! Not too wild, though. Seriously, don't get too wild. Now, some of you subversive free thinkers out there might be wondering, will the Chinese government really interfere with my display of self-expression through the ethereal art form we know as dance? Of course not. What do you think? China is ruled by some faceless, soulless bureaucracy that disregards personal freedom and expression for the sake of its relentless thirst for power? That's crazy. You should be put in jail. You should be put in jail. But seriously, it's not all that bad. I mean, not all dances in China have to be initiated by the state. They just have to praise the state. For example, this one people came up with to show their love for Chinese leader Xi Jinping. The song they're playing is Shi Dada. It was definitely not written by officials in the propaganda department. It's just another totally spontaneous outpouring of affection for Xi Jinping by four netizens in Henan province. With lines like, not afraid of heaven, not afraid of earth, dreamers all look to him. But here's my personal favorite. <laughs> Oh, you see all you China uncensorites out there? The Chinese regime isn't such an oppressor of freedom of expression after all. Uh, oh, what's that, Shelly? Ah, <laughs> apparently this was uh, just a misunderstanding. 
totally unrelated to the international media backlash, Xinhua published this article, Official Stresses Standard Square Dancing No Mandatory. Apparently, it was all just a big misunderstanding, and those 12 dance moves were always no mandatory. Where did anyone get that crazy idea? As this new Xinhua article clarifies, the era where all people are forced to follow only one orthodox in sports is long gone, and people now require more individualism. See? You are required to have more freedom. Individualism with Chinese characteristics. So, what do you think about China's new dance regulations? Or suggestions? Or whatever. Thanks for watching this episode of China Uncensored. Leave your comments below and be sure to sign up for the newsletter at ChinaUncensored.org. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.